So I know the new Steven Universe preview for Mr. Greg just came out like a couple hours ago or maybe it was a day, I don't know. I only saw it a couple hours ago. Um, but Pearl tap danced in this preview, in this episode. And for those of you who don't know, Pearl is my all-time favorite gem and tap dancing is my all-time favorite dance. So naturally I had to learn to dance immediately. At least the feet. Um, I'm not huge on arms and the arms for this do make it a lot harder considering the fact that it's already kind of a ridiculously difficult dance. But I thought I would show you what it looks like on a real person and teach you how to do it. Um, and the disclaimer for this is her feet do not match all of the sounds she does, so I sort of picked the combination of footwork and real world, real world footwork that made the most sense to me and the way I tap dance. So, enjoy. Now that you no longer have to look at my sweaty face, let's break it down. And I don't know how it's gonna end up reversed by my camera versus what you see on TV. So I'm gonna be saying left foot, right foot, and that refers to my left foot and my right foot. So the first thing it's gonna be is a riff with the right foot. And for those of you, okay, a riff is not easy, so if you're a beginning tap dancer, I will also give you an alternative option. The way you do a riff is basically, it is a leap onto your left foot, and your right foot comes through kind of like you're kicking a soccer ball, and it's with sort of the inside of your foot, and it makes three sounds, or it should make three sounds. So it's so, sort of this first hit, second hit, and then a heel. Wait, let's do that. Yeah. So that's a riff. And if you are not an experienced tap dancer, um, the riff comes more from the sounds that she's making than the footwork that she's doing. The footwork that she does is just kind of uh, like this. Um, but there is that an additional sound in there, so I like to think of it as a riff. So you can either do riff or totally up to you. So it's first it's drift, and then it's jump out to second. If you're not familiar with ballet, this is second, um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and I am balancing. So that's, that's where the turnout's coming from. So it's drift, second, and then this is the part that I hate because it's not what I want it to be. It is a full 360 jump turn. So, and I can never make it all the way around. What I want it to be would be out second, cross, so stand. not second again without falling though. Um, but that's not what it is. So it's not. It is, however, out. Um, and when I do the turn in that direction, I tend to land with more of my weight on this foot. She lands equally because she's a jamma and probably doesn't have the same amount of vertigo that I have. I am not a good turner. Um, land back out second. You're gonna hop, leap, so that all of your weight is on your right foot. And you're gonna shuffle with your left foot as you do. So side shuffle. Um, to break down a shuffle, a shuffle is, it's two sounds, so you have a brush out and a brush in. And when you do it to the side, you're using that same part of the um, foot that you used for the rift, so that inside part of the toe, and it's shuffle out. But this is the part that gets weird. It is one, two, three. And then it's a heel. Okay, this is the part that's really, really unclear because her feet are basically doing all three runs 
the sounds are only making two runs. Or no, the sounds are, I don't even know what the sounds are doing. They're not doing three runs. But there's an extra sound after she stops tapping after the break. So I have sort of put together what I like, which is not necessarily what she's doing. So it's travel out with the left foot. One, two, three. It is a drawback, which is, no, it's just a, a spank or a back flap. So it's just like this. And my heel naturally comes down. I wonder if that's what's adding the other sound that I'm hearing. Um, and then a step out heel, which is the classic shave and haircut two bits, which I don't know how to do anymore. That might be it. That's probably not it. Um, so putting that together a little bit faster, we have two to left. Run, run. I don't even how to don't know how to say that while I'm doing it. So it's triple left, run, run, bank it out. And um, I think it's very natural, but if it's not natural for you, when you do the spanking, it's spank. So you have a, a toe drop as you're bringing this foot up, and the heel drop as this heel drops. So all together, that's... Which is not super easy to do, and it doesn't look that good, so I'm not a huge fan of this particular step. That's what it is. So from the beginning, slowly it is drift, second, turn, and land, uh, leap shuffle, run, run, clap, heel, and out. A little bit faster it is. I missed some steps in there. See, this is why I'm not a huge fan of this particular combination. But it is rift out second turn. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. It is rift second turn. And that's what it is. If I could talk and dance at the same time, you would know. But if not, I'm just going to do it maybe one more time so that you can dance along and then you can go turn on Pearl and see how she does it. And that is the step. City's got its charm, unlike that termite-ridden bar.